D-Star is a new digital ham radio technology that really allows users to do more with their radio equipment. From the crystal clear audio quality, to the advanced computer networking, to the other digital data features, D-Star is an amazing innovation from ICOM. Now the first element of the D-Star system that I'm going to talk about anyway is the gateway. Now the gateway is how all D-Star radios talk to each other. Basically it's a big fancy schmancy server that ICOM has set up somewhere in Texas, but we'll pretend it's a bit more advanced than that. Basically all you need to know is that all D-Star repeaters are connected to the internet, and then indirectly through the internet they are connected to the server. Now, you might be thinking that this is a, very similar to the old IRLP way of uh, communicating, but it's a bit different from a user's perspective. You see, with D-Star, when you program your radio, you have to input your call sign into your radio. When you key up your mic, uh, the repeater receives your call sign and stores it. It knows what repeater you're on. Then when your buddy's trying to call you, all he has to do is send out your call sign to the D-Star system. It then looks up where you are and automatically links your buddy's repeater to your repeater. It's a really convenient technology, and it's a lot better than fiddling around with node numbers for different repeaters like you would have to do with IRLP. With technology like this, who needs a cell phone? Talking to different repeaters around the country and across the world isn't the only thing you can do with D-Star. The system also supports advanced cross-band repeat. This is Victor Echo 7, Alpha Lima Bravo, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Basically, you can talk in on one frequency and be heard on a frequency on a completely different band. In this example, I've got my 2 meters handheld radio, and I'm using it to connect to my local 2 meter D-Star repeater. That repeater is then sending my audio uh, across the system and out on a 1.2 gigahertz uh, band, where it's being received by the ID1 radio. It's a pretty advanced system, and it sure beats the old way of linking repeaters. Now the benefits of ICOM's new digital radio system isn't only limited to superior voice communications. D-Star also offers some pretty cool data services as well. The most basic of these is the sending of simple, short messages over a radio link. It's similar to text messaging that you would find on a cell phone. Your messages have to be pretty short, they're limited to 20 characters or less, but these messages can still help enhance the overall effect of a D-Star contact. Now, in addition to the text messaging style features, D-Star also supports uh, the sending of your coordinates from a GPS over a radio network. This is a b pretty big improvement upon the APRS system, and it behaves almost exactly the same way. You plug your GPS into your ham radio using uh, specific cables. It can either be done on a mobile rig or on a handheld. It's sent up to the uh, local repeater where it's received by the gateway, and anybody anywhere can look at where you are. It's kind of cool, similar to APRS, but again, this can all be done on the same repeater. Now, the simple transmission of data uh, over a radio link isn't the only thing you can do with D-Star. It also supports advanced computer networking. Basically, what you can do is you can take your laptop or your desktop, plug it into a D-Star radio, and then your buddy can also plug his computer into a D-Star radio, and you can set up a local area network. Except, with radio, you don't have to be in the same room. You don't even have to be in the same block. You two can be across town, and you can be playing LAN computer games, or sharing files, or sharing hardware. It's really cool. But that's not the only thing you can do. I know I'm sounding a bit like a broken record here, but there's so many features. The last thing I want to talk about is uh, the sending of internet feeds over a D-Star radio link. Now, what, as more repeaters are springing up and they're being connected to the internet, what you can do, uh, or what most communities do, ham radio communities do, is they, set, they plug um, their internet into the D-Star repeater, and then the repeater then sends the internet signal out over the radio link, usually on 1.2 gigahertz. Then all you have to do is take your radio, plug it into your laptop, and you can drive across town on the city bus, and surf the internet. 
Now, the data is a bit slower than regular internet. It's limited to 125 kilobits per second, but still, it'll do in a pinch if you need to check your email or send a file to somebody across the city. D-Store is a pretty amazing addition to amateur radio, and there's no doubt that it delivers a superior quality of audio, and it makes communicating with people across the world as easy as using a cell phone. However, the things you have to keep in mind is that D-Star is a relatively new system. It's only been around for a few years. Now, coverage at times is spotty, and few cities even have D-Star repeaters. So, before you go out and buy yourself some fancy new radio equipment, check with your local radio club. Find out if your city or town even has a D-Star repeater, and if purchasing this new, amazing technology is even worth it for you.